In this article by ABC News, the court says Ronaldo's rape lawsuit in Vegas should be dismissed as a federal judge in Nevada is siding with Cristiano Ronaldo's lawyers against a woman, Catherine Mayorga, suing for more than the uh, $375,000 in hush money she received in 2010 after saying the international soccer star raped her in Las Vegas. The backstory to this case is that she met Ronaldo at a nightclub in June 2009, went with him and some other people to his hotel suite, where she, she said um, he assaulted her in the bedroom, according to this lawsuit. She was 25 and he was 24 at the time. But uh, Ronaldo's attorneys have acknowledged that the soccer, the Cristiano Ronaldo and Mallorca had sex, but um, it was consensual and not rape. So the judge blamed Catherine Mallorca's attorney, uh, Mr. Stowell, for inappropriately basing the civil damages lawsuit on leaked and stolen documents uh, shown to be privileged communications between Ronaldo and his lawyers. So the judge said in his statement, dismissing Mallorca's case for the inappropriate conduct of her attorney is a harsh result, but it is, unfortunately, the only appropriate sanction to ensure the integrity of the judicial uh, process. So Stowell has acted in bad faith uh, to his clients and his professors at, at his uh, profession's detriment. The judge also noted that the court did not find that Cristiano Ronaldo committed a crime and found no evidence um, that his attorneys and representatives intimidated Mayorga or impeded law enforcement when Mayorga dropped criminal charges um, and financed that $375,000 confidential settlement in August 2010. Um, also, another of Stobel's claims, Mayorga's lawyer, was dismissed as he claimed that Mayorga had learning disabilities as a child and was pressured by Ronaldo's representative then that she lacked the mental capacity to sign the 2010 confidentiality agreement, which cannot be proven. The conclusion was that the judge said there is no possible way for this case to proceed where the court cannot tell what arguments and testimony are based on these privileged documents. Overall, Cristiano Ronaldo's lawyers and representative said that the settlement was absolutely not an admission of guilt but ju was just done to maintain his reputation against such claims.